Smart Apply originated in Hops as kind of an offshoot of C Sharp. Uh, traditionally, the job of C Sharp is to apply Booleans. So in Hops, Smart Apply is determined to be a replacement for just pressing Control A and choosing Visual Geometry to Mesh. We'll choose to do so here, which will apply every modifier you saw on the right. And if we go in edit mode, you can see that everything was applied, even the last level of bevel. And to me, this is a little much. So for that reason, in hard ops, you can go under the Q menu and just choose Smart Apply, and it will smartly apply the modifiers that need to be applied, but leave alone the modifiers that need to stay. So subsequently, Box Cutter has also received its own form of Smart Apply. So as most of you know, Box Cutter is able to be used in object mode pretty readily. However, you can also use box cutter in edit mode. And while this usage of box cutter can be a little bit slower, but also can result in you doing direct edit mode changes, you also have the added benefit of being able to shift to live, which will put you in the shape that you're modifying in its own edit mode. And from here, we can make modifications to the mesh itself and even choose to smart apply using the BC smart apply. And now we'll actually apply this mesh alone, leaving the rest of our modifiers live. And so this is the way that I like to work occasionally where I will just select a piece of geometry, begin working it in edit mode. I will shift it to live, just make my edits, and then just either leave it live or smart apply it in either edit mode or object mode, just applying that one particular cutter on the mesh. Of course, if this mesh was still in its uh, fully non-destructive form, it would have been problematic. We'll turn on our modifiers again there. In fact, for a moment, let's actually turn these mods off so we can go in edit mode and actually cut without as much difficulty. Sometimes um, box cutter can get a little bit of a hang whenever it comes to cutting in edit mode because the way that it works is purely experimental, uh, the way it works should have never meant, been meant to be, but I really wanted edit mode support in box cutter. And now you have smart apply support where we can quickly just get in, uh, uh, smartly apply these modifiers based on our selection and just keep working where, whether we're direct modeling or not.